So welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be changing the oil in it because of a leaky sensor. So a while ago I had on the display a fault for the level sensor for the oil and I fitted a cheap £20 eBay part and it's leaking through the actual electrical connector and giving me quite an oil leak. So I've actually went out and bought a proper Heller one this time which was a lot more expensive but we'll sort that out but while we're doing that we might as well change the oil because we have to drop the oil anyway so we're doing oil and filter as well so let's crack on with the video right so what we have to do this we obviously have our new sensor one oil filter and some quantum platinum 540. I always use 540, especially in my cars, so high mileage and modified. And I find that thick oil does keep it quiet and gives it a lot more protection. And a new sun plug. Right, first things first, let's get the bonnet up, let's get the cap off. Oil pulled the tube out a little bit as well, just to stop any vacuum. We shouldn't really have any anyway once we've got the oil cap removed. So now that's all like that, it's time to get it up in the air. So as you can see the oil coming from the sensor where it's leaking, all through the plug, the electrical connector, no oil from coming down from the top of the engine so it is definitely all coming through that electrical connector. So what we need to do is Remove the oil plug, sump plug, and the oil filter. So let's crack on with that and start sorting this car out. We're so just using a 19 mil just to undo the sump plug. Now let's let the oil all drain out. I did warm the engine up so the oil is a little bit thinner so it should flow out a lot easier. So now it's time to concentrate on the oil filter. So we just loosen it, you can get a special tool to get these undone. I've got a little plate thing that goes on the bottom of it and you put your 3 8 ratchet in that and undo it. Makes life a lot easier. So let's undo that. Now it's time to fit the new sump plug with washer and get that all tightened up. We talk this down to 30 newton meters and give it a quick wipe. Let's now get the sensor out, which is the main reason we are doing this, which is a five mil hex. So let's whip that out. So let me show you the old part. As you can see, it's got a great big hole in it and it's all cracked around there. And I think that's where it's coming through the electrical connector. But on the Hello one, it has this tiny little notch, nowhere near the size of that hole on the other one and none of those cracks. So I think that is 100% our problem and why we have that oil leak. So let's finish getting the oil filter out. Here's our new man filter, and what I'm going to do, a bit of oil in there. Like that. And then put some oil around the seal. So now it's time to refit the new oil filter that we've already put some oil in it, which will help with the circulation on startup. Tighten it all up by hand, as tight as you can go and then just clean up that area. And now we're gonna get onto the sensor, put another bit of engine oil around the rubber seal on that, and then refit that into the hole, and then put the three bolts in, 
like so. I believe these are 10 newton meters. Right, so that's all on, but I do need to get the oil out of that plug. So I'm just gonna spray some electrical contact cleaner in this plug. So now it's time to get the car back on the ground and start filling up with oil. Keep on checking on the dipstick to make sure you don't overfill it and then start the car up to let all the oil circulate and then turn it off, keep on checking oil, top up again if necessary, like I had to. Too much oil is just as bad as not enough. So just make sure you keep an eye on the level on the dipstick while you do this. Once you've got it right, you'll know it. It will be on the crosshatch section of the dipstick. So you want to get it between the crosshatch. We're not quite there yet. All right, so we're in the crosshatch now, so we are all good. Screw the oil cap back on and make sure the dipstick is pushed in. Now start the car up. It's time to get the car back up in the air and just see if we've got any oil leaks from anywhere underneath there hopefully should all be good so let's have a look underneath and check it out as you can see it's all looking nice and dry nothing coming from that sensor all looking good some plugs nice and dry and where the oil filter is nothing coming from up there happy days Doesn't seem to be leaking the new sensor. The other one literally would start leaking straight away. But so that oil leak is fixed. We've got new oil in there, new filter in there. Happy days. So I'm just gonna put this on tray on and then we're all done. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.